our place. We have a New York place. Reporting, Chief. I got it. Got what? <laughs> Your sandwich, sir. Hamburger on rice. Don't you think it's about time that I got an assignment? Oh, you don't like your job, eh? Oh, yes, sir, but, but I think I'm about right. You're more than right. Thank you. You're rough. Well, yes, but after all, I'm, I'm supposed to learn the business. And so you're going over my head, are you? Oh, no, sir, but, but Uncle Horace said... Just that... as I thought. Guilty conscience. The moment I say anything to you, you bring up your Uncle Horace. Oh, no, sir. I, I didn't bring up my Uncle Horace. <laughs> he brought me up. Quiet. Yes, sir. Don't you dare raise your voice to me. Your Uncle Horace may be the publisher of this paper, but I'm the editor. You understand? No, sir. Er, uh, er. Uh. Yes, sir. You're only three months and already you're trying to step into my shoes. What size shoes do you wear? I mean, Mr. Hardwick, I only want to do what the other reporters do. I want to go to fires and floods and murders. I want to go far. That suits me. How about him you leave right now? Where's the mustard? I'll get it. Oh, Mr. Spears, I was just talking... Get out! Gosh. What's on your mind? This. Archduke Julio narrowly escaped that this morning when I will hit her in the Admiral Hotel and she was the only passenger drop 17 post for us for the rest of our emergency breaks. Please are investigating. Why work up a temperature over this? Modern elevators don't have accidents like that. No, but modern archdukes do. Who is this Julio guy? 80 years old, visiting New York for two weeks. Hasn't broken into print since he was exiled in 1918, leaving on the bar gravy this afternoon. Mr. Hart, we can't we send a man... That... Okay, just to show you how much I think of your story, I'll send Virgil Jones. First, I want to get a sensational scoop. A murder. Why didn't you murder Hardwick? <laughs> that wouldn't be ethical. Hello? Just a minute. For me? Yeah. Hello? Oh, Mr. Hardwick. Yes, sir, I'm rushing just as fast as I can. I... Huh? They tried to kill him twice, you understand? Get down to the pier and interview him. Yes, sir. Oh, boy! What is it? A big story. I've got to interview an archduke. Somebody's trying to kill him. Gee. I'll see you later. Virgil, don't forget our date tonight. I will. So long. Archduke story. The Consolidated Press put a man on it. Well, we got a half a man on it. Hello? Oh, darling, the boat 
sailing. Well, goodbye. Good. Oh, Mr. Hardwick, Virgil Scoops Jones. I'm at the pier now. All eyes and ears. <laughs> until you find out who's trying to kill him and why. But, Mr. Hartwick, I can't. I've got a date. I can't, and I haven't got a toothbrush. That boat is shoving off for Europe in five minutes. And so are you. Hello. 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 Search the boat from stem to stern, sir. And I'm confident the Archduke is not aboard. Got a key to a sweep? Yes, sir, but... Uh, come on, let me have it. Come on, come on, let me have it. Oh, I beg your pardon. I must have got the wrong ship, or I mean, the wrong room. Excuse me, my name is Scoops Jones. I'm star reporter of the New York Daily Blade, and, and I thought this was the Archduke suite. It is. Oh, yes? And who are you? His valet? His valet? I am the Archduke. Swell. Now, Your Honor, or I mean, Your Majesty, what do they call you, anyway? <clears throat> By my inferiors, I am addressed as Your Highness. By my equals, I am called Azulio. <laughs> okay, Azulio. And what did you say your name was? Oh, my name is Virgil Ambrose Jeremiah Christopher Jones. Now, let's get down to cases. Who's been trying to kill you, and why? <sighs> and, uh, how much do you know of what occurred? Well, I... I don't know anything as yet. I, that's why I wanted to interview you. Oh, I see. Well, Mr. Jones, I have a little errand, an affair of state. Now, you wait right here, and when I come back, I shall tell you all about it. Now, sit right down here. Make yourself comfortable. I shall be right back. And I promise you the biggest scoop of your career. Okay, Julio. Hey. doing in the stateroom? Well, I I came to see myself about the Archduke. Or I'm, what did you do with him? Who? The Archduke. Well, I, I don't know. I, well, he just stepped out. You murdered him. What? Well, there's a body. Oh, I ain't got nobody. Search me. I'm getting tough, eh? Oh, Come well, on, take his other well, arm. Get out of here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tell us to the captain. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, I'm a newspaper oh, man. Here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's the Archduke now. Where? Right there. Stop bluffing. That's the man that told us about you. He saw you breaking the stateroom. Thanks for tipping us off, Mr. Briggs. 
Oh, that's all right, boys. Always glad to help. Briggs, allow me to introduce myself. Briggs of the Consolidated Press. Oh, so it's a frame-up, huh? Well, let me go. Turn me loose. Say, what are you fellas going to do with me anyway? You're going in the break. Oh, am I? Well, I'm not yes, going to go in the on. break. Well, this is a fine how-do-you-do. Now, uh, what's the use? Marshal speaking. Uh, he arrived in Paris this morning. Safe. <laughs> He's safe, all right. It's hard to Tell him I'm tied up. What, he's arrested? Yeah. Now give him all the help you can. He'll need it. All right. Monsieur, je suis certain qu'après cette incidence, Monsieur Jones, c'est rare, au plaisir d'obéir à toutes les lois de la République française. Merci, Monsieur. Merci, Monsieur. Say, what is this? Just an old French custom. New York says you're to keep after the Archduke till you find out why they're trying to kill him. When you find that out, you'll have a story. You have to draw on this office for any money you need. What have you fellas found out about old Duke Julio? Ask Paul to come in. This gentleman is quite an authority on royal exile. He may be of some service to you. Mr. Jones, this is Paul de Jean. Oh, bonjour, monsieur. Oh, bonjour, monsieur. <laughs> bonjour. Uh, Parlez-vous français? Oh, mais naturellement, je parle français, mais ça n'est pas nécessaire, parce que je parle également anglais. La belle France est ma patrie, mais j'ai fait mes études en Amérique. Monsieur est américain. Well, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps uh, I didn't make myself clear. What do you want to know? Well, tell me something. What did old Duke Julio come to Paris for anyhow? Oh, probably to see his sister, the Duchesse Louise. Duchess Louise. Where does she live? Oh, she's an invalid. She's at the Europa Sanitarium at Vichy. Good. Hey, where are you going? To Vichy. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Haven't you forgotten something? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> That's an old French custom. Ticket to Vichy, please. Hey, buddy. Well, well, well. These are my old shipmate. Remember me? Yes, I remember you. And if I wasn't going someplace in a hurry, I'd give you something to remember me by. Where are you going? To a masquerade ball? Oh. Now, don't tell me what you're supposed to be. Let me guess. Uh, I've got it. A romaine salad with French dressing. And don't tell me what you're supposed to be. Let me guess. I've got it. Now, now, your ears are too short. Just think it's... Uh... Let me have one round trip ticket to... to, uh... Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. Ooh, Monte Carlo, eh? Yes, I thought I'd see Monte Carlo while I was here. Where are you going? Oh, Chateau Thierry. You know, the battlefield. Yeah. Too bad you didn't get there earlier. Ah, trying to kid me, eh? Now look here, wise guy. If you want to remain perpendicular... Hey, I'm not as scared of you. One more word from you and... And what? I'll... I'll call a policeman. Well, why don't you? Well, I... I can't say gendarme. I'll call one for you. Gendarme! Gendarme! Oui, monsieur? Monsieur. It's a lie. What did he say? I haven't the slightest idea, sir. You, you don't know? Apre! Apre! Apre cure! Apre cure! Uh, J-Vex number, uh, s'il vous plaît? Uh, Lapiti, quatre, trois, huit, quatre, trois, huit, nu. Quatre, trois, huit, nu. Just a moment, monsieur. What is the number you wish to get? Right here. Operator, Lafayette, 4389. 
What happened? Hello. Hello, Marshal. This is Jones. What Jones? Scoops Jones, of course. Order me a plane. I'm on my way to the airport now. <laughs> Merci, boo, boo, boo. A ba 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 boo. A ba ba boo. Boo boo boo. A ba 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 boo boo. I don't care what's where you're leaving. Well, I was looking for the chief attendant. Have you seen him? Yes. Uh, which way did he go? He went that way. Oh, thanks. All right. Uh, no, he, he he went that way. Well, uh, make up your mind, will you? Which way did he go? Well, it's pretty hard to tell. I was asleep when he passed by. Well, thanks for the information. Ideas. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Are you hurt? Hurt? <laughs> I'm dead. I see an angel. An angel? Yes. Yeah. Of course, you can't see her from where you are. Oh. Well, let me help you up. Well, put your arm around me. That's an idea. Uh -huh. Well, that's better. Much better. <laughs> uh -huh. Let me have your other arm. Oh. Oh, oh your other arm is paralyzed. Oh, yeah. But this one is all right. Oh. oh. So I noticed. Oh. Oh, ouch! What's the matter? Something bit me. Oh. Oh! What's the matter? Uh, my ankle. Your ankle? Oh. Well, you didn't say anything about it before. Oh. Here, put your arm around me. There. That's better. Now, I'll, I'll put you in the chair. Oh! Where do you live? The main building. I'll take you home. Mm -hmm. mm, it's beautiful, isn't it? I'll say you are. Well, I was speaking of the view. I was speaking of the view, too. Oh, excuse me. I was just trying to see the name on your collar. Oh, well, it's Jane. Jane Hamilton. Well, pleased to meet you. My name is Jones, Virgil Jones, of the John Paul Jones Joneses, better known as Scoops. Jane. Jane? Well, I don't know you well enough to call you Miss Hamilton. How long have you been here? Is it so obvious that I'm an American? <laughs> the minute I saw you, I knew you were from America. What part? <laughs> All of you. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Hamilton. Miss Hamilton? Oh, Jane. What part do you come from? Kansas. Kansas? Well, what a small world. Why? Do you come from Kansas, too? No, I live in New York. But I used to visit a cousin in Kansas. He raises hogs. I used to help him call them. Oh, woo! <laughs> Fancy you're living in Kansas all your life. Well, I didn't live there all my life. I went to school in Georgia for three years. Georgia? Why, is you all from Georgia? Well, shut my mouth. Don't go. <laughs> If I ain't glad to see you all, you show sure is a little sight for so vile. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Thanks for the bugger, Rob, Mr. Jones. Maybe I'll be bumping into you all again. You didn't bump into me, honey. You wrecked me. <laughs> bump into me again sometime. Oh, another one, monsieur? No, not for me. <laughs> you like it, monsieur? No? No. <laughs> Good. But you 
studio with all those frightful things happening. How did you ever manage to get across? Oh, that was very simple, my dear. I booked the suite on the boat, then I came still. Tell me, <laughs> when the bomb exploded... Oh, I ran like a greyhound. <laughs> oh, that is not to laugh. You might have been killed. Oh, by the way, permit me to thank you for allowing us to meet here in your sanitarium. I'll do anything for my country, sir. Julio, you've been so busy talking of yourself that you've neglected to tell us about Helen. Yes, how did you find her, Julio? She's not one happy apple. Uh, but tell me... No, 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 a moment, a moment. I'll answer all your questions. Yes, no, no. I have a surprise. Surprise, my dear Kinsley. Her Majesty, the Queen. There's something funny about this place. Why can't I get the Archduke on the telephone? I do not know, monsieur. Well, now listen to me. You let me know everything that transpired. And tip me off to any messages this Jones guy gets. Company? He is here. Admit him. Very good, sir. Hey, the donor, not a word. Good. Your Majesty, may I present Count Stunsky? Your Majesty. As one of your humble subjects, I am privileged to formally request you to return to your country and take your rightful place upon the throne. Isn't it beautiful? The <laughs> Queen! Please, do I have anything to say about this? Why, of course, my dear. Everything. Well, then, then how can you be so sure that the people want a Queen? They do, Your Majesty. I speak for the people. Seven times Count Stronsky has been Prime Minister. Your Majesty can rely on his opinion. But that is true, then. I accept. Long, long live, long live the queen. Are you heavy? Holy, holy, you may be caught, may be killed. What's the difference? I'm nearly strangled to death anyway. I don't look too matronly, do I? Ah, oh, you are beautiful, Herr Jones. <laughs> Just like somebody from the moving picture. Yes? Shall we sample? Where, uh, Wally Beery. <laughs> Here you are, sir. Oh. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Yeah, Bittisher. Bittisher, I mean, I mean, you're welcome. The plan for the wound. Oh, yes. This is the room of the Archduke? Mm -hmm. Who has this room next to him? Well, and Hamilton. Uh, Hamilton? The Archduke. Je regrette, monsieur, mais je ne parle pas l'anglais. Je ne peux pas vous le dire. Hey, wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. Let me in. Something for me. Huh? You know, I'm a great friend. <laughs> yeah. You know, I like it. As we say in America, you do something to me. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Uh, great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, just the same. You can take care of yourself. It's a very dangerous character running around here. Oh, you've got to Yeah, a uh, funny looking American by the name of Jones. Herr yeah, Jones? Like it. Why, that monkey, that monkey, <laughs> how that monkey can Oh, he kissed you, eh? Yeah. Well, I'm telling you, he's bad. He's got a wife and ten children in New York. Who oh, here? Yeah, yes, yeah, that's true. Uh, he was one of the finest gentlemen I have ever met in my life. Well, you watch out for him. One of the finest personalities. Well, just the same, you nice watch out for him. Nice looking for You know, I'm just telling you this because I like you. Tell me, do you like me? Like you? <laughs> I love you. 
I like you so much, I could, I could, I could squeeze you to death. Oh, now you're talking, babe. How about giving me a little kiss? Oh, come on. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> no, Mr. Yin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Hey, Joe! Where the smelling salt? What is it? What's the matter? Hello? Please! No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's me. It's me. Oh, scoops. Government agents are here. We must be careful. But what are you doing in my room? I didn't know it was your room. I was hiding from someone who was trying to kill me. Kill you? Yes. You see, I'm a newspaper man. <laughs> newspaper man? Yes. I'm trying to find out something about old Archduke Julio. Maybe you can help me. I? How? What is it you want to know? Well, I don't know what I want to know. But whatever it is, I've got to find it out soon. Your Majesty will be good enough to take the Eastern Express tomorrow morning and proceed at once to the frontier. Oh, so soon? You're going with me. I regret it's impossible. If we were seen together at the feet, the Archduke is going by motor, and you with your American passport will go by train as an ordinary passenger. Oh, but Count Stransky, there were so many things that you were going to explain to me. <laughs> Who's that man out there? He mustn't see you. He's a newspaper man. An American. You speak? I would suggest that your majesty tell him nothing. But keep him occupied until I slip out of my car. All right. Yes. Yeah. What? Why, uh, just a couple of men. <laughs> You're cold. 
want to take my wrap? No, no, I'm all right. I feel swell. Bless you. Thank you. Let's take a walk, shall we? No, I'm afraid if I do, I'll miss something. You don't take a walk. You're sure to miss something. No, no, I'm... Huh? I think I'd better stay here. Something. Oh, isn't it beautiful the way the moonlight filters down through the leaves? Yeah, it's, it's the book. <laughs> <laughs> I feel much better. I got rid of my last sneeze long ago. <laughs> I was wrong. My last sneeze was next to the last one. <laughs> pretty close to kissing you this afternoon. Kissing? Yeah. There were so many people around. Well, uh, there's no one around now. Oh, yes, there is. The moon. Oh. oh. Well, I wouldn't worry about that. Yeah, but it makes me kind of, sort of, I wish there was an eclipse. Hello, New York. Hello, Marshal. Yes, sir. Scoops Jones reporting. Yes, sir. Just bursting with news. Yes, sir. He's here now. He's hardly. Hardly. Oh, tell him I'm not here. I've already told him you're here. Oh, tell him. Then tell him I've gone out again. Yes, he's here. Hello, Mr. Hardly. Did you read this morning's papers? Well, read them. the papers. I'll save you the trouble. Briggs scooped you. Briggs? How? When? Where? The Archduke went up there to see a Miss Jane Hamilton. Jane Hamilton? From Kansas? Yeah. Well, she not only is not from Kansas, but she's not Jane Hamilton. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's start this all over again. She's really Princess Helen. Air presumptive to the throne. Here it is. Head out across the front page. Jane Hamilton, Princess Helen. Hey, gentlemen? So you thought you'd drop in to do a little crowing, eh, Briggs? Hey, I've got half a mind. You've got half a mind, all right. Where were you last night, dummy? Say, sometimes you're going to call someone a dummy who isn't a dummy. You've done your crowing, Briggs. Now get out. Oh, forget it. I'll tell you what we do. From now on, we'll work together. If I get an idea, I'll tell you. And if you get an idea, you'll be surprised. Hey, the old boy skipped up last night. You mean the Archduke? You hear that, Jones? You've let him get away again. Yeah. I know where he went. You do? Yes, to his estate in Brittany. She... She probably went with him. I'll tell you what you do. Order a plane and I'll meet you at the airfield in a half hour. Now, we're getting somewhere. See you later, Marshal. Get you at the airport, Scoopsy. You idiot! You imbecile! You sack! Why did you have to tell him where the Archduke and the Princess are going? I didn't. What? That Brittany stuff was just a gag. Well, then, where are they going? I don't know. Ah, uh, you don't know anything. 
No, but I've got an idea. Listen, where does the Eastern Express cross the frontier? At Grove. Grove, that's it. Order me a plane for Grove and a bottle of aspirin tablets. <laughs> for Briggsy. Without a doorbell. Go away. <laughs> go chase yourself. You will not go away, no? Yes, I will not go away. No. Oh, you realize it's the middle of the night, my man? <laughs> I'm not sleepy. It would be better to go away. Are you going to let me in or not? disturbing the entire household. If you think that's a disturbance, you ain't heard nothing yet. I'll yell so loud, I'll wake up the whole village. Are you gonna let me in or not? No. Okay, brother. Okay. <laughs> you asked for it. Gentlemen, let's not mince words. Where is Miss Jane Hamilton? You'll sit down and remain very quiet. There's only one thing that'll make me sit down and be quiet, and, and that's it. I'll sit down. Of, of course, I don't have to sit down, you know. I could stand up. <laughs> but as a matter of fact, I'm... Jane! Take him to the cellar. Yeah. What are you doing? Merely abating a nuisance, Your Majesty. I want to talk to you. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. How am I doing? Nobody's ever treated me like a sap without me telling them about it. Well, what are you talking about? About your being princess and this Archduke Julio stuff and everything. Why didn't you tell me? Why, I... Briggs beat me to the whole story. Oh, so it was the story that bothered you. Of course. Why did you come here? Well, for one thing, I came to tell you that... that it's too late to make a fool out of me. Or, I, I mean, I mean, it's too late to... I mean... Oh, you know what I mean. Why, well, sorry, Virgil. I'll try and make it up to you. You got your pad and pencil handy? Now you're talking. You ready? Yep. I have been requested by the people, Bruce Strunsky, former prime minister, to take the throne as queen. We leave within an hour by motor car. Oh, boy, what a story. And here's something else that might interest you. You can say that the queen was ready to abandon the throne. But she was in love with a newspaper man. But he was too interested in his newspaper to even notice the fact. Gosh. Gee whiz. Who is he? What's his name? Virgil Scoops Jones. And don't forget the scoops. And don't forget the scoops. Who? Wait, Helen, Princess, Janie, wait a minute. Oh! Don't cry, honey. It'll be all right in a minute. Susie, do you love me? Like nobody's business. Oh, we'll run away. We'll go to America, huh? No. You're a queen. I'm just a newspaper man. We've each got a job to do, and we're going to do it. But, Virgil, I don't want to be a queen. And if we love each other... We don't count. It's bigger than us. You've got to go through with it. 
your job. What is the meaning of this? We are sorry, Your Majesty, but we are Her Majesty is ready to take her place on the throne. Excellent. Good luck. So long, Your Majesty. Oh, young fellow, I mean, I'd sit down. Of course, a little place we have here, don't you think? Say, listen, this is my room. Who let you in? The landlord. The only decent room he's got in the joint, so I consented to share it with you. That's very nice of you. I hope you brought your own pajamas. Have you got any news? I know more than you do. Yeah, but you'll have to phone it in, won't you? Oh, so you're the guy that put the telephone and telegraph out of commission. I just wanted to make sure that any little item you might collect you'd bring right here. How does it look? It's swell. There's only one thing the matter with it. It won't work. Well, make it work. I can't. This is a fine how do you do. I go out and get the scoop of the age. And you wreck everything so I can't send it in. Yeah, I think I made a mistake there. You think you made a mistake? No way of getting out of this town for two days. And I've got all the dope. The princess is going back to take the throne. She and that guy, Julio, and Count Strensky are crossing the frontier tonight by automobile. <laughs> Strensky is going to be the prime minister. I got the whole story. Yeah, and you're stuck with it. Your fiancé, Prince Michael, will be here in a moment. And then we must proceed to the capital. Prince Michael? My fiancé? Yes. It'll make a better impression, my dear, if you tell the people you're going to be married after you're on the throne. His Highness Prince Michael. Majesty, your most humble servant. Cousin, you're very beautiful. You look like a queen. Thanks. I wish to be alone with the Majesty. You're not glad to be going back. I think I'm a little scared. Somehow, kings and queens seem unreal to me. But there's nothing to fear. You'll be my wife. Are you in love? Yes. Well, good. That makes it simpler. Why? Because I'm in love, too. Oh, most charming girl. She plays a lovely hand at bridge. You'll adore her. Uh, you play bridge, of course. Yes. Oh. Fine. I do think we're going to hit it off famously. We are to proceed to the village of Lapa. Simon and Marco will meet us there with the others. We are to wear the uniforms of the government police. We set up our machine gun in the shop below Marco's apartment. Upon arrival of Your Excellency's party at dawn, we open fire on Her Majesty's car and continue firing until we are sure she's dead. Before escaping, be sure to show yourselves so that the people can see the government uniforms. Hmm. My bulletproof car will be in the lead. We'd better fire on that as well as the car for Majesty. This is absurd. Every moment is precious. What possible good could a Majesty derive from the advice of this, this love? 
Don't you dare call him a louse. Why, he's my... He's my friend. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Lovely night for a murder. I didn't leave this I was only kidding. Nevertheless, it's a beautiful evening for a murder. I mean, my friend. Oh, uh, 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 Princess. Yes, yes, it's quite right. Please. has returned, Your Majesty. Yes. Your friend sends his regrets. Oh. oh, but why? Didn't he say why? Yes, he he said something about duty to his people. His duty? Hmm. Oh. Oh, I understand. Duty comes first, even with him. with you, too. Yeah. The Rover boys are together again. Relax. It's all right for you to say relax. Goodness. I'm in the spot. The greatest story in years breaking in here. How long have you been in here? About 20 minutes. And you haven't figured a way to get out? There's no way to get... Hey, wait a minute. I've got an idea. It won't work. Come here. Look. You boost me up, and I'll reach down and help you. <laughs> That's a good idea. Even if you did think of it. News you want to send to the outside world, Stoopsy? Well, yet. What about that? As soon as we are done, let the newsmen escape and give the news to the world. Very well said. Pardon me, I'll be right back. Car. What? Who is it riding your bulletproof car? But, Your Highness, you don't understand. I think it's... I do understand. And we don't intend taking another step until we... What do you mean, the Tusk? Miss Michael will ride with me and drive on.
matter? What happened? Who did it? Stransky. Stransky? What for? Save Princess Helen. government did it. Then the people get sore and kick the government out. Then Strunsky steps in. And I... I could have stopped her. You hear me? I could have stopped her. But I told her to go. Haven't you got to... I've got to get to a telephone. Now listen, Charlie. Quit kidding around with that thing. Thousands of newspapers are waiting for the story. I had a bicycle pump. American, a newspaper man. Don't speak English. Don't you understand? No comprendo, senor. I've got to get across. It's a matter of life and death. Oh, 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 oh. oh. you dummies. Oh, excuse me. Can I use that telephone? No. But listen, Sergeant, I, I am not the sergeant. I am the captain. All right, Major. I want to Monsieur use... Monsieur will have to retire. I'll be put in prison. Prison? Where? There. You mean you'll put me in the... In yes. Is that so? <laughs> Arrest that man! Lock him up, I say! Lock him up! Lock him up, I say! Lock him up, believe me! Lock him up!
Done to my wagon. Who are you? Don't ask questions. I gotta get to a telephone. Telephone? One right inside the door. Uh, what? Oh. Operator! Operator! Give me the Paris office of the New York Blade. Great work, Joan. I'll attend to it. Junction La Road. All speed La Road. All patrols have to stop and catch the party. Proceed to Junction La Road. All speed La Road.
Sarah, you'll have to come with me. Madam, it is my painful duty to inform you that you're under arrest. Colonel Hamill, assemble a court marshal Price Tunsky immediately. Yes, sir, Excellency. Major, clear the streets at once. Order everyone to remain indoors until further notice. Yes, sir. Don't you know how excited the people get about a common criminal? Yes. Well, what do you think they'll do about her? By the time you've had her in the jug of week, riots and revolutions will break out all over the place. True, young man. What would you suggest? <clears throat> Are there any automobiles in this town? Of course. Why? Tell your cops to look the other way while she escapes. I'll have her cross the border before you know it. Mr. Jones, this is the second time today you've saved my government. Oh, that's all right. Glad to be a service any time. Come on, let's go. You too, Julio. Come on, duck. Duck? Yes. Oh, thank Take you. a powder. Oh, thank you for it. Scram. Yes. Let me have it. Hello. Hello. Get me Paris. Virgil. What happened? Meet the princess. The pr Say, what's she doing? I brought you the story. Do I have to write it for you? Say, you crossed the frontier, didn't you? Yes. But well, what'd you come back for? Hello. Get me to Paris off the New York Blade. Aren't you going to be queen anymore? Who killed Prince Michael? Hello? Hello, Marshal? Scoops. Listen, she's safely across the border. She's right here with me. Good. I'll get you a personal interview. Oh, boy, what a story. Hey, give me that phone. Sure. 